<clears throat> well, today, looking through some old papers, um, that I guess it was um, Paul donated from his wife Mary's collection of newspaper clippings. This comes from the Sheridan County Journal from Gordon, Nebraska. Um, the story is from 2005. It comes in several parts. And uh, apparently, this is an interesting story. I'll get a couple of excerpts and I'll read to you. Um, the story was brought in by Fred Walton, one of the dwarfs, Nancy, uh, Susan Nancy Rulo left Fort Laramie in 1861 after the death of her mother. She and two brothers traveled with her father, Hubert Rulo, to Highland, Kansas, where he left them with a the Presbyterian minister to be raised. That was um, Samuel Irvin. They never saw him ever again. Um, one of the sisters was named Margaret. Margaret, and that's the one we're going to look at today. Well, <coughs> I guess it was actually Sophie. This one comes from the Sheridan County Journal from Gordon, April 13, 2005. And it says that Margaret's life was such as few women experienced. Her father is a Canadian Frenchman whose education was commenced with a view to his being a Roman Catholic priest. This plan he abandoned and going west soon was employed as interpreter for the American Fur Company. Later he married Wawasa, a full-blooded Sauk Indian maiden, and to them were born Sophia, Margaret, and Julia Rubati. Their father died of cholera, and helpless and in grief, their mother, Wawasa, took them to Father Samuel Irvin's Iowa and Sac Indian Mission, where Father Irvin raised them with his own children. In the mission, there's a picture of the mission, uh, in later years. In the mission, they attended school, learned from Mother Irvin household duties, and later attended Highland University. They were converted to Christianity at the mission just east of Highland, Kansas. Sophie died young at 18 in 1861 from tuberculosis and left half her life savings of $200 to Highland College and half to educate the children of former slaves. A dormitory was built at the college and was named after Sophie. Many students, teachers, and others attest to its being haunted by her ghost, which returns over and over again on the campus where she and her sister, Julie, are buried in Highland Cemetery. Her sister, Margaret Rubati, was happily married to W.A. Margrave and lived on Rock Creek, moving three years later to the Second Fox Reservation, where they established enough to start up the Margrave ranches. So I thought that would be interesting. I'd never heard the story of the uh, haunting of the dormitory at uh, Highland. Maybe someone else has heard something about it, but it's worth kind of looking into. It is getting, it's August now, so soon it will be time to start thinking about the stories of fall, which usually include ghost stories. And as I find little bits and pieces, I'll try to post something instead of Writing it down, uh, maybe I'll just post things I learn like this. Until next time, pleasant dreams. <laughs>